Imagine waking up one morning and going to your window. You take a look outside, but instead of the usual plants, you witness dinosaurs. Real life ones, like the tall Brachiosaurus, looking down at you. While on the other side, you see the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex, roaring with pride while standing on its pride rock. Well, all this would have been possible if you were born approximately 65 million years ago. These days, however, it is impossible to witness dinosaurs as they have been extinct. But what if I told you that there is a way that we can use to successfully bring back the dinosaurs? And I'm not talking about resurrecting them from the dead or casting spells on them. I'm talking about a method known as reverse engineering DNA. Might seem tricky at first, but let me try to explain it to you in a simple and fun manner. As our subject, we will be using dinosaurs. To explain, I have three pieces of paper labeled A, A1, and B2. As we can see, A and A1 have the same genetic trace or letters that resemble each other. B2, however, has nothing in common with A and A1. Meaning, do you get it? A is a dinosaur alive 65 million years ago, whereas A1 is a chicken that is alive today. What does this even mean? Well, it means that we can take A1's egg or a chicken's egg and place it in the womb of an animal alive today that resembles the dinosaur, which is the alligator. As we can see, dinosaurs and alligators have something in common, their scaly body. So, when the alligator gives birth to the egg, the egg will hatch and resemble a dinosaur. Of course, this is trial and error, as we never know which two perfect matches can create a dinosaur that we know, such as the Velociraptor or the Pterodactyl. But eventually, after we have much experience doing it, we will know the perfect two combinations. If you want to ask, how come the method they used in Jurassic Park won't work? Well, this is because the mosquito in amber, technology that they used to remove the dinosaur's blood from the mosquito which contains DNA can't be used today, as it only is able to collect 700,000 worth of years DNA. Dinosaurs, however, were alive way farther than then. Why they took mosquitoes? Because mosquitoes suck out blood today, right? So 65 million years ago, they would have sucked dinosaur blood, which contains the dinosaur's DNA. Sadly, this method won't really be effective. I hope that you have understood my presentation, as we may be the scientists of the future who successfully managed to recreate dinosaurs. I hope you understood, as this subject is extremely interesting. So, with this, I end my presentation. Have a good day and thank you for listening. Bye!